Welcome back to Teresa's Den. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so your discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Welcome. I feel like I have to do extra air horns because I wasn't able to do them. But Hi. <laughs> Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, where the fun never ends. This idea was created and crafted by the wonderful, the beautiful, the Emily Hanhan to my Emily Hanhan. Emily Hanhan. How many times can we say Emily Hanhan? But Emily Hanhan. Emily created this idea and I'm merely riding Emily's coattails. This idea essentially is a new makeup release video where yes, we comb through top makeup accounts on Instagram, screenshot a bunch of stuff. And what makes this different from a typical new makeup release video is that we take those images, throw them in a folder, use a random number generator and pull the images as if we are playing bingo. We also have a couple of adult libations to have fun with it because nothing beats talking trash about makeup than having a couple of adult libations in our system. Besides Emily and I, we also have the beautiful, the wonderful, the Audra from Audra at Home. Audra from Audra at Home. I feel like I had to at least say it twice because I said Emily Hanhan 75 times. But Emily Hanhan has a great name, Emily Hanhan. <laughs> Audra from Audra at Home. Both equally wonderful names. Definitely go check out those babes and tell them. <laughs> I almost, almost, almost gonna say Morphe babes. <laughs> Go check out those Murphy beams and tell them I said hi and send a tasteful air horn or two. They'll love it. So with that said, here are the possible makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers. Mmm. What am I drinking today? Starbucks refresher. <laughs> Mixed with some vodka. Because I want caffeine and vodka. Recipe for disaster. Anyway. I guess that would be a title for an autobiography, Recipe for Disaster. <laughs> no, I feel like if I was like a baker, that would make sense, but I'm not a baker. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. Anyway, there are a lot of makeup products to talk about today. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trash, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of weird stuff, a lot of cool stuff, but there's a lot. So without further ado, Let's see what do we pull today, kids. And the first one is, what is this? I'm mad about this one. Fuck this one. <laughs> Fuck this one. So Mother Pet McGrath, Mother Pet McGrath released upon us their holiday 2022 collection, right? And I, first, I'm not to toot my own horn, bitch, but beep beep. Am I psychic? I think I'm psychic because I called it. I fucking said that there would be like a blue or a green in there. Why? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> so I died when I saw the pictures. because I was like, oh, who's right? I'm right. <laughs> Cause I'm always right. And I was very happy to see that. Anyway, when I saw this collection, I laughed at the palette because I was like, I'm right. But everything else, oh my God. I literally just like fainted, fainted because I could not believe how beautiful everything was, right? This is, not to say that I didn't think it was gonna be, but this exceeded my expectations. The things that I was truly excited about was the highlighter, obviously. The pan embossing, but 
Truly, Pat McGrath's highlighters are the best highlighters. Definitely top three. Best highlighters ever. Fucking love them. Worth every goddamn penny. But the little blush highlighter books. Then there was like another blush. The... Ba -ba 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 -ba, what the fuck is it called? The Nude Venus 2. <laughs> it was a peach nude with a satin pearl finish. I was like, oh my god. Then there was Color Mascara. And I was like, eh, whatever, I don't care. Then you had these little five pan palettes, which initially I was like, mm. And then I was like, ooh. I was like, oh, maybe I'll pick it up. Anyway, all that to say, this already came out, right? So I was like, oh my God, okay, it's Friday. Like, all right, I got it. I got my code, I'm ready to go. I'm totally okay mentally <laughs> and physically okay with spending a lot of money because I really like a lot of this collection. Tell me how. <laughs> And no, none of the posts I've ever seen did it really signify that it was only gonna be, only gonna be, okay, the palette and the mascara. Everything else, not available. Coming soon. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate it. I hate when they do that. I hate when the brand does that because it's so disappointing. Literally, you're showing me all this shit and then you're like, no, 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 bitch. You can only get a tenth of it. It's like, no, don't, I'd rather you not show me that. Show me what I can purchase and what's available. Don't show me the things that are gonna come in the future. Don't be that asshole, don't be that bitch, okay? <laughs> show me that when it's gonna be available. If you know that it's not gonna be available, bitch, say something, at least say it in the post or something. All the posts that I've made it sound like everything was gonna be available next day. And now I know, I know, I hear me, I hear me. Okay, I realize, first of all, problem, I am an asshole, I get that. I'm reading the room, yes, but I'm still gonna complain about it because it's annoying. It's fucking annoying and I'm sorry. But it's fucking annoying. But in any case, I did pick some stuff up. <laughs> and what I did pick up was the fucking palette. And um, I picked up one of the mascaras. So I typically don't like that formula in the mascara. But I thought to myself, you know, I don't have a lot of colorful mascara, so why not try it? And it could be a situation where it was very similar to like Charlotte Tilbury, where I really like the Dream Pop or the pillow talk version of their mascara, the push-up lash mascara, compared to the black shade. Black shade I didn't like. So maybe this is a similar situation where I'll really enjoy the colorful mascara because the black formula just didn't work for me. So that's what I'm hoping for. So expect a review uh, in four to six weeks because that's probably how long it's gonna fucking take. I think what's aggravating me more is that I know for damn fucking sure they're gonna release the next set of the collection, which is not available until October. I will probably be able to order that stuff before I even get the fucking palette because I hate Pat McGrath shipping. I don't know if it's just two pigeons. <laughs> That's just strategically taking some packages. I don't know, but even when I lived in New York and the fucking fulfillment center, I believe was Jersey City, I still didn't see my shit. People who lived in the other side of the world would see their shit more. I could have walked to the place and I still would have never fucking seen it. So anyway, I'm heated. <laughs> I need to calm down because like I sound I sound fucked up right now. I'm just passionate. <laughs> passionate about my makeup and it just aggravates me to no end so yeah I'm gonna call this already bought it. it it is really holiday bullshit but I already bought it though okay I already bought it and uh, I, I made peace with that but it's just so aggravating that this happens but again, first little problem, I will shut the fuck up about it. There, I said my piece. Anyway, <laughs> expect to review when I get the palette in four to six months. And um, I have no expectations about the mascara. I hope it's good. Is it gonna be good? I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best, but I really have no expectations. <sighs> but I can't wait to put those face palettes all over my goddamn body. Goddamn. All right, anyway, we're gonna call this Already Bought It and we're gonna keep on, keep it on. Next. First of all, I don't even understand what the fuck is going on at Smashbox. I don't get it, but I think this is the first time that I've actually legitimately been excited for a launch, okay? So this is currently available now, okay? <laughs> I have no words. There's a Masters of Horror collection. Okay, Smashbox made a prime and plush lipstick and an always on cream shadow. You have Chucky Dracula, Bride of Chucky, Bride of Frankenstein, and Frankenstein. I am legitimately 
surprise it's, it's like a good surprise i feel like for a long time smashbox was just out here smashboxing it up by releasing things that nobody really cared about or talked about if it wasn't if it wasn't the product that would never die aka the primer it's like everything else was kind of like i don't know like not memorable right and the only reason why i think of the primer is because i feel like i have so many times in subscription box over the years it's like the world was telling me i need to have this primer in my life to only find out the primer is not even really that good my own personal opinion but this was just a pleasant fucking surprise i really really like it and i am gonna pick some stuff up now that i'm looking at this a little bit more i'm kind of it's weird <laughs> kind of weird because you're gonna show me universal monsters right like old school universal monsters you're gonna bring in chucky and tiffany and it just seems so haphazard i kind of wish there were two collections here i wish there was a classic universal monsters collection and then i wish there was a modern master of horrors collection so i really wish they did like frankenstein bride of frankenstein the mummy creature from the black lagoon dracula i wish they did that that would have been stellar and then on the other side they could have done chucky bride of chucky jason michael myers freddy krueger I feel like that would have been so fucking cool. And if they could have released kind of the same product, so if it was gonna be a cream shadow and a lipstick, then both sets had that. That could have been so fucking good. But this, it's kind of like, all right, we're gonna take a little bit of this and a little bit of this and move it together. It's the Chucky and Tiffany that kind of stand out more to me because they just, it's like these things don't belong with these things. Does that make sense? No, it does make sense because I make sense. <laughs> I'm aggressive today. <laughs> so I really wish that was the case. That said, the actual products, like I, the lipsticks, they all, there's only one lipstick color that I would use and it's obviously Chucky. Why? It's a basic bitch color. Chucky is a basic bitch and I love it. <laughs> I want it. I'm not cool enough to rock green lipstick. The red lipstick is just, meh, whatever. The deep brown lipstick is just gonna make me look like I've been eating out of the toilet. And then the purple one, the purple one could be kind of cool, but how often am I really gonna wear purple lipstick? I'm not running a gothic coffee shop, so I just, I feel like I can't pull it off. Although Urban Decay does make it, well, that's more of like a lavender and I look good with that. I don't know. Anyway, when we move on to the cream shadows, I, I, uh, deb, bleh. I don't really like cream shadows because I have hooded eyes. A lot of times cream shadows usually kind of get like patchy. They transfer a lot. It looks all blotchy and shit. And it's probably one of the last things I'm ever going to put on my eye. I'd rather use a powder product or no product over a cream eyeshadow. Because like I like how they look, but I know I can achieve the same thing with a powder shadow. You know what I mean? So it's like, do I really need that? No. I do want the lipsticks though. So I'm actually gonna go purchase the lipsticks right now. And it's really just, uh, hold on. Let's see, which, what do we have available still? I can't believe I'm going on Smashbox's website. <laughs> it's a wild time. But I do give them a lot of credit for doing something that's definitely out of their comfort zone. I've never seen or heard anything from this brand to ever kind of collaborate in this direction. So again, I give them a lot of credit because that's really fucking cool. I just wish it was a little bit different. But in all sincerity, I am happy about this collection because I think it's really cool. I wish it could have been fine-tuned a little bit more. These cream shadows, what are they? Terra-proof matte colors. These vegan cruelty-free shadows are also transfer-proof, waterproof, sweat, and humidity resistant. I kind of have to try for science a little bit, right? I kind of have to. Ooh, bitch. Okay, here, all right, all right. I'm gonna try Bride of Frankenstein because the gray shadow, I feel like I could definitely pair it with some multi-chromes, especially some lighter base multi-chromes that I have. That's a test that I can play with. So maybe we'll try that one. You know what? Maybe I'm just in a good mood today. <laughs> Cause I think I'm, I wanna, I need, I feel like I need Tiffany. Okay, maybe the purple lipstick is actually pretty good. The green, no, I don't, no, I, no, the green, no. <laughs> the green's a no. By the way, I'm just gonna insert a photo of what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Oh, the red's kinda nice. The Bride of Frankenstein's a little bit too deep for me. And I feel like it emphasizes everything that I hate about my mouth. So I'm like, but the green, no, same thing. But I think the purple though. No, nope, we're just gonna do Chucky and Bride of Chucky. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> this is what I look like with the green. Let's mark today. Today's the day I actually purchased something from Smashbox. 
Let us live in history forever. We're gonna call this spooky ooky makeup because it's spooky and ooky and I can't believe I bought it, but I'm also low-key excited about it. Next. Okay, well that was a whirlwind. Uh <laughs> Let's talk about Makeup Revolution. So Makeup Revolution revealed that they're doing a Halloween collection with Beetlejuice. I love some of this. <laughs> I hate some of this and I do want to pick this up. I and I am going to pick this up because I have to. I have to, I have to. I fucking have to. All right. So Oh, it's coming to Walmart too. <gasps> All right, so <laughs> we have a lot of stuff here. We have the It's Showtime Shadow Palette for 15 bucks. The Strange and Unusual Palette for 10, oh my God. Do you see the house? <gasps> it's the house. I, <laughs> I need to get that one. Okay, okay. Then you have the Beetle House for $10. Okay, okay. Then you have the Recently Deceased Highlighter Palette. I am deceased, I love it. There's a lipstick, there is the Never Trust the Living Powder, which I kinda have to get, a cake liner, then there's Strange and Unusual Mascara, Say My Name Eyeliner, False Nails, Lydia Lashes, Beetlejuice Sponges, Beetlejuice Brushes, Eyeliner Set, Cosmetic Bag, and Beetlejuice Mirror. I know I've said Beetlejuice so many times that he's probably already here. Okay, so, the Beetlejuice Bag, Mm, it's okay. The little makeup bag. I usually like their makeup bag. Makeup Revolution usually does some kind of cutesy thing. This is just, it's just okay. It's just like a black and white bag and they just slapped a sticker on it. It doesn't feel special by any means. The same for the mirror. I wanted, you know what? I, I, I don't like bugs. I don't like bugs, but I was kind of hoping that it would be like the cockroach. <gasps> Bitch, I would, <laughs> I would lose my shit if someone made like Beetlejuice as the cockroach. That was a mirror. Fuck me up. Press on nails now, I do my own nails. But they are kind of cute though, the colors are cute anyway. The brushes look, no, I'll pass on the brushes. The sponge, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's kind of cute, but I kind of wish it was just Beetlejuice's face, you know what I mean? Or the mirror could have just been Beetlejuice's face. I would have accepted that too. So if it's not the actual him as a cockroach, I'll take him <laughs> as a mirror, his face. And the lashes are lashes. I don't fuck with lashes, so we're moving on. The next thing is the bigger eyeshadow palette. Which, you know, I really, really, really sincerely wish that they did a recently deceased palette. I know Hot Topic did it, and Hot Topic, um, eh, you know, a Hot Topic's Hot Topic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's Hot Topic. So I kind of wish that they would have made a book. It actually would have been Copycat Vibe. So I get it. But I kind of wish that they would have, like, took it one step further and just did that. That would have been cool. The highlighter palette, absolutely. I... There's something, when Makeup Revolution makes a good highlighter, they make a good fucking highlighter. The Simpsons collection had a really good highlighter, actually both Simpsons collection. So I'm gonna hope for the best with that one. The little, um, the little beetle juice, like the little, the little beetle palette, eh, it's okay. It's, it's not really doing anything for me. But the fucking house though, <gasps> I'm, I have to get the house. I don't even give a fuck if the shadows even really work. I just want that house. Moving on. Oh, interesting, okay, so the Strange and Unusual, palette I'm not into at all. It's, I guess it's the Beetlejuice house or whatever. That's the one. That's the one I want. The actual bigger palette, I don't know. Like, I kind of keep going back and forth because there's some kind of cute moments in there, but uh, Makeup Revolution's quality is really not all that great. So I'm kind of like hesitant, but I might pick that one up. Although I do really like the basic bitch lipstick. There's something about a cockroach and a lipstick while terrifying also looks pretty cool. Like that. Um, yeah, I mean, there are some like really good moments, but I feel like there also could have been like a little bit jazzed up with the packaging. So I am, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. I am gonna buy this. I have no idea when the fuck is coming out. So, oh, 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 bitch, it's available. It's, a, oh, it is, what the? <laughs> I didn't get this. What the fuck? Am I just spending all my money today? <sighs> Looks like I'm spending all my money today. Bye. Okay, hold on. We gotta go. We gotta go. Make a revolution. What the fuck, man? This should be... I'm gonna call this episode the day I spent all my money. It was bound to happen, all right? I can't take it with me. How have I not been in a loop? I blame my job, okay? <laughs> my job is trying to keep me from fucking... Oh, look how cute everything is. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a lot more shit here. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I take that back. I take that back. Hold on. Wait. No, 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 no. I need that. Yep, I need the one lipstick. I have to, I have to. Oh, eyeliner sold, everything is sold out! No! <laughs> no! <Okay. laughs> Fuck! All right, so, 
Okay. Uh, fuck! <laughs> Today's a very, very important day, okay? Today's the day that I buy Smashbox and I lose my shit, all right? I lose my shit because I can't buy something from Makeup Revolution. Who the fuck am I? Who the f I need to take a step back and look at myself. I, like, there's a, I, there's a problem here. <sighs> Brands get me though, man. They make something cute and fun. Fuck me up. I didn't know. Everything is sold out except for the one lipstick, which I, I'm not gonna buy that or the mirror. Nobody wants the mirror because the mirror sucks. Uh, all right. Well, kids, you know what that means. I'm gonna have to wait and go October 1st <laughs> to Walmart to go pick this up. I need to pay attention to dates. I really do. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna call this makeup revolution. Go away. Come back again some other day. But reality, you can stay because I actually kind of like this collection. And if it's going to be anything like the Simpsons one, there's going to be some bangers in this one. Ew, I can't believe I just said that. Oh my god. Who the fuck am I? Next. So Huda Beauty, our good friends over at Huda Beauty, uh, is coming out with the Empowered Palette. I don't know if I like the packaging so much. The packaging's kind of like, what is this? I'm so used to like having Huda's face or like eyes on it, but then the last palette didn't have that. And I'm like, I don't know if this is like Huda's way of like going back on the palette, but also make it feel like, um, what was that, Sh Nick Arcade? <laughs> Remember that one, if you ever seen Nick Arcade, then you know there was like this one mini game where it'd be kind of scrambled looking and they would have to guess what the, the like what the movie or picture was or whatever. That's what this feels like. Giving me Nick Arcade vibes, but not in a fun way. <laughs> More like, eh, who cares? That said, I like this. Are we surprised? No. Mama loves her basic bitch moments. This one's kind of cute. There's a lot of things going on with this and I really love that there's no T-virus shade. I love that. So for $67, it's golds, coppers, browns, neutrals, and different textures. Is this revolutionary? No, it's not. This is like a nice warm tone palette just released in the fall, which would be really good also for the winter. It's pretty. She's a boring, bitch but she's a pretty bitch so you get two gel hybrid eyeliner shadows which are new high shine wet metallics so you get two of those one crushed flake gold what the fuck is that i don't want that two powder metallics and nine powdered mattes there are a couple people that have reviews on it i have not seen them i don't want to look at them because i don't want them to taint my beautiful brain but when it comes available on october 3rd i am going to be picking this up because i need to fucking know if it's going to be as good as the last palette that i got from huda beauty uh don't even know what the fucking call is it I want to call it Divine Rose, but that's not it. That's not even the same category. What is, <laughs> what is the one behold, please? The Rose Quartz palette. I love this palette. This was an unexpected surprise that made me question everything that I knew about Huda Beauty. Usually Huda Beauty kind of sucks for me. This is the palette that changed my mind to now actually buy stuff from the brand because I'm like, I love this so much. That said, I'm hoping for the same experience. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Because I really do like it. I think it's really pretty. You know, it's something that I probably have 10 times over. But there's something about the Rose Quartz formula. It's just fucking good, y'all. It's just, it's good, y'all. It really is. So I'm kind of hoping that we're going to have the same experience with that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm excited and I can't wait to slap it all over my goddamn body. And yeah, this is an Ann palette, a beautiful Ann palette, but an Ann palette nonetheless. And I do kind of question if you could have omitted a couple of shades because there, it looks like there are some that kind of look similar. But I'll find out more when I get it in my goddamn hands. So definitely be on the lookout as soon as I get it. But yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of want it. I kind of need it. I kind of need it. I kind of need it. We need it. We need it. <laughs> so we're going to call this an Ann palette and we're going to keep on keeping on. But so far, everything that I talked about today, I have either bought or wanting to buy and I basically just want it all. We're going to call this I want it all. I want it all. Maybe. I don't know. But so far, we want it all. Next. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, what the fuck? <laughs> so, what the fuck? Okay, interesting. The brand got to be, which has always been like famously known for their hair gel and shit like that, is coming out with a product that is good for brows and edges, a two in one wand gel for layering edges and styling brows, 72 hour hold, no white residue or stickiness, vegan silicone free, alcohol free, but a super strong hold for $19.99. When I tell you, when I look at Got To Be, I'm like, oh my God, like I have such like 
nostalgia for them because I always remembered like when I was younger going into like any sort of like hair care aisle and looking at the styling stuff the, between got to be and bedhead those were the two that were like oh those are fucking cool okay <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, went with Depp because that's what all the budget afforded, okay? Or the things that were like CVS brand or Rite Aid brand, but whatever, okay? But I've always wanted Got To Be products because I just always thought they would look so cool. <sighs> And I don't know if they were cool. I never tried it. I don't know anything about them other than seeing this iconic packaging and thinking that I wanted it, I needed it now. So I don't know if Got To Be is is any good. I know Bedhead, like, I, I do have a soft spot for Bedhead. I love Bedhead. I don't know, there's something about them. It's just like my childhood. It's like all of, all of the years in high school wrapped up into one. Like, it's just longing to try these products, but I couldn't until in my, like, fucking 20s when I, you know, made my own goddamn money. But maybe I should go to the store and just buy like a got to be product just to see what the hype's about because I'll be 37 and I still haven't tried it but it's something that I think about not all the time but like every time I'm in a hair care aisle I'll always look at it I'm like oh yeah good times things don't change like the got to be package <laughs> went down a really weird walk but you know what though I like it now this product however I'll never ever use in my fucking life because I don't like that feathered brow look I don't like it I don't like soap brows I don't like feathered brows sometimes it creeps me out. <laughs> I'm so sorry because I know some of y'all really love it and you're like yes I like I've been waiting for this time where the brow is like the fluffiest and you could see each individual hair and you could see your fucking skin poking through and some of y'all really like that and you're like thriving off of it and I'm happy for you because on this channel we're always happy for other people when they're happy. Does that make sense? I think that made sense. And so if you love that I love that you love that. Okay, on me, no, I don't love that. <laughs> I don't like, it scares me, I don't like it, I don't like how it looks. It freaks me out. <laughs> So the thought of just this product doing that, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. I can't, I can't fuck with it. No, 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 no. Anyway, oh, I was reading in the comments, apparently, like brow products, I don't know, right? $20, okay. For a product that I'm never gonna be interested in, I really don't have a comment about it, <laughs> right? So I'm like, whatever, who cares? But apparently, the price is outrageous. <laughs> so uh, apparently you can find this for like $8 elsewhere, and like in America, we just jacked up the price, which I mean, it's America, are we surprised? No. So um, yeah, but apparently a lot of people who live overseas have had this product around, and apparently it's terrible. <laughs> do do with that what you will okay um i mean i wasn't gonna pick it up anyway i just got nostalgic for the fucking brand but apparently it's not a great product so that's kind of interesting interesting and it's really apparently incredibly expensive not surprised anyway with that said we're just gonna call this nostalgia because i'm getting all the nostalgic feels of my childhood but just for the brand not necessarily this product but in any case next Okay, so the next product is, oh yay, it's Fantasy Cosmetica. Hello, baby. Fantasy Cosmetica, if you've never heard of them, is a, a newer indie brand that has uh, come out as of late. And what they create is palettes based off of fantasy or role-playing games. Really fucking cute. And I really do love the fact that as of late, there are kind of more of these like geekier kind of makeup brands, right? So like we have Fantasy Cosmetica, we have Game Beauty, but focus on video games and make products in that line. And I think that's really fucking cool. What I like about Fantasy Cosmetica is their quality is really fucking good. And this particular palette that comes out, I've already received it in PR. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll post a picture here. I posted some swatches, which I fucked up because I didn't include one shade. So I'm... <laughs> So I'm gonna include one shade now that I didn't get to do, which sucks because in my post, I for failed to show this beautiful copper shade. Their shimmers, oh bitch. They are so saturated and beautiful and wonderful and they make really beautiful multi-chromes. Ugh, it's so good. Anyway, so this palette is gonna be released on 9.29 at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you are interested in wanting, oh God, it's like so good, it's so good. If you're interested in wanting to check this out, cause look how fun this is, definitely um, I'll leave some information down below. I'm also affiliated with the brand. So if you ever wanna save some money, make sure to use the code GARBAGE so you could save some coin. And I will say that there is a nice yellow 
in this palette, which I don't know if you can see because I feel like my lights are really washing this out. So do you remember a long time ago when Urban Decay had a palette with Kristen Leanne? I know, I know, I know, okay. Do you remember that whole line? That was like probably what, 2017 maybe? They had a single shadow. I think it was called SMG, I wanna say. And that yellow was so pretty and that's what this reminds me of. And I love that. I just love this kind of mustardy marigold yellow. This is a really fucking fantastic yellow. I'm always on my hashtag quest for yellow and this does not disappoint. Anyway, that's what that color reminds me of. But their shimmers though, like I mean, it's like little jewel tones. They're so fucking pretty. Ugh, oh, I can't, I can't. I can't stop hand, hand fucking myself. Anyway. <laughs> I have to say, you know, out of all the palettes that they have released, I think this might be one of my favorite color stories because one, I am just a sucker for like a mustardy yellow and of course an olive green. And maybe I'm just a sucker for fall palettes in general, but this is a fall palette that has been done really, really well. So if you're interested, again, 929, check it out. If you want to save some money, use the code garbage. Um, but this is fucking fantastic. So with that said, I will definitely include it in the video in the future, probably a get ready with me. So definitely check that out. But um, yeah, but that's I guess we'll call this all the multicrumbs because it's all the fucking multicrumbs. It's all the fucking multicrumbs. It's just one multicrumb, but they're all the fucking multicrumbs. Multicrumbs. All right, so the next one that we're going to be talking about is ABH. Okay, what is ABH doing? So they're coming out with the Rose Metals eyeshadow palette. It's a new palette that will be launching September 26th. I don't know. It's like, eh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. It looks oddly familiar. It kind of looks like, it looks like maybe a version two of the Soft Glam palette in a way, but then it also kind of looks like Modern Renaissance, but it all depends on the lighting because sometimes the lighting kind of throws me. So like the first picture doesn't really necessarily look like the actual product shot. I don't know. It feels like a catfish because I'm like not sure what I'm going to be getting, but I kind of like it, but then I kind of don't like it. I don't know. I'm like, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. It looks so familiar. Like I have seen this already and I just can't place when and where. You know what I mean? That's how I feel when I look at this stuff. I think I love the name more than I actually love the palette. I think rose metal sounds really cool and maybe the other thing is I feel like what was it two months ago everyone was releasing or was it three months ago everyone and their mother was releasing some sort of like rosy rose tone-ish kind of a palette. And I feel like this is just a little bit too late. And maybe if it would have been released around that time, I'd be like, oh, okay, this could be like a contender with those palettes. But like, this is just like, oh, all right. Womp, womp, womp. Like, <laughs> I don't really feel anything for this one. I think comparing it to the Huda palette, like I feel something, like I feel something in my nethers for that, <laughs> for that Huda palette. Huda palette, I don't know why I sound like that. But for ABH, I'm like, hmm. You know, sometimes they do come out with a bop and a banger, right? And sometimes their quality is really good. And then sometimes it's like just okay. And I don't know, the brand is just so funky. It's like they're kind of going through something and I, I don't know what it is. I don't know, I kind of feel like maybe they're going back into time a little bit. I don't know what's going on with them. It's just too much of the same stuff from them. I don't know, I think about like, the Jackie Ina palette, and that was like such a good palette. And I wish they had that energy for all their recent launches, but they haven't. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck is going on with them. I don't know. It's one of those palettes that I don't feel like I need to rush out and get. And if I happen to be in a Sephora and I see it and I'm a little bit fucked up <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? She don't look so bad after all. It'd be something I'd potentially purchase, but I feel like I wouldn't want to purchase it also discounted. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if I do ever come across this palette, it has to be in person and it has to be like a perfect storm. It has to be like on sale or I have 20% off a rouge sale or some shit like that for me to want to get it because it's not necessarily anything that I need to have. It just looks like too much of the same shit that they've already put out that I already don't even fucking use. So. I don't know, it's just not that interesting. I wish they would just go back to Jackie Ina or Subculture or stay within those color stories, but instead we're just kind of getting the same shit that they launched every fucking time. I'm just, I don't know, I'm not into it. I'm just not that into it. But let me know down below if you did pick this up, if you are gonna be picking this up because I'm curious to know why. Um, but I don't know, it's just not really doing anything for me. It's just not doing anything for me. So with that said, I don't think I can call this anything except you're just not doing it for me. <laughs> you're. I just fell out of love with you, okay? <laughs> Next. Ooh. 
So we have some new brands. We have new skincare brands. Okay, so the first one is uh, from Brad Pitt. Le oh, I can't even pronounce that. Le Domain? Le Domain? I want to say Lo Main so bad. <laughs> So badly. Le domain, le domain, le, 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 le I don't know. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, because I just obviously just I just don't sound good pronouncing really fancy names. Um, Le Domain, I don't know. Then we have uh, Barker Wellness from Travis Barker. I'm gonna start with Barker Wellness because why does this man have a fucking tube in his mouth? Why do I, why 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 why? I don't think I ever bought like skincare from someone that's just like, I'm just gonna put the whole fucking tube of moisturizer in my mouth. No, I hate that. I hate that so fucking much. I hate it. Also, the packaging is really cheap looking on the Barker stuff. And I believe for prices, it's not that cheap. For prices, it's very, very expensive. So you have the two-in-one face mask and cleanser for $95, daily moisturizer for $85, eye serum for $130, face serum for $115, renewal balm for $140. Okay, don't put it in your fucking mouth, all right? <laughs> like, I get it, all right? I watch the Kardashians on Hulu, okay? Like, I get it. They're always fucking tongue-fucking each other. I get it. But also, like, I don't want your fucking <laughs> fucking skincare. That's gross. Like, ew, stop. I can't imagine, like, just shoving, like, a Chantecaille bottle in my mouth. Like, no. No, thank you. I don't really know what any of these products do, nor do I give a fuck. <laughs> fucking care. I mean, he does have good skin. Like, it's always shiny looking. He kind of is very reptilian. <laughs> like, he just is always so shiny. So maybe, like, maybe it's, it could be good. I don't know. But then, here's the thing, though. I, I truly firmly believe that these motherfucking shitty famous people do not use the products that they put out. I refuse to believe that. When they have, at the palm of their hand, access to the best doctors, the best skincare, the best things that we will never see in our lifetime, bitch, I refuse to believe that you're using an $85 moisturizer. No. Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. So I call bullshit on that one. But when I move on to Mr. fucking Brad Pitt though, fuck you, bro. <laughs> fuck you. His skincare is so ridiculous. Okay? Ridiculous. I think it's like, what, 350 euros, 275 euros for the serum and the cream? Fuck out of here, bro, okay? Granted, granted, <laughs> I do have expensive skincare <laughs> in my collection. I do, I do, and it does. I, I really do love it because it's like Chantecaille's all expensive shit. But it's Chantecaille. It's not Brad fucking Pitt. <laughs> it's not some fucking person that I know has never put shit on their face. I will say though, the packaging of Brad Pitt's shit, I want to put some charcuterie on it. That's the only thing that I'm kind of like digging a little bit. <laughs> well, actually, I take that back. Half of me wants to put like some meats and cheeses on it to eat off of it. And then the other half wants to take the rich part and then scrape the bottom <laughs> of my foot to get the dead skin off. So I'm kind of like at a loss. It's like, ooh, I kind of want to eat off of it, but I also kind of want to use it to remove dead skin off the bottom of my foot options am i right like there's just too fucking many of them but i don't um i don't love the packaging I, for that kind of money i want it to be a little bit more luxurious also i just don't fucking buy it he's in a fucking lawsuit right he's also name dropping that vagina candle lady like, <laughs> just fucking can't it's all bullshit it's all bullshit i'm so tired of seeing like the heavy saturation of celebrity skincare and makeup brands and stuff like that like i get it like this is a very huge market and everybody's making money and whatever but i think it comes to a point where it's just like i just i don't believe in the shit that they're selling and i don't believe that they're fucking using it like there's no fucking there's no way not with that kind of money and access to things like there's no fucking way hell no bitch okay so yeah no not into it i think it's stupid um but i'm here for the snarky fucking comments so i love that <laughs> I'm all about that bitch. Like, that's great. Um, and I am curious to see if anyone does buy it, what they think about it. Because um, I'm a nosy bitch after all, and I am curious. But I don't think this is something, even if it did have like, incredibly like rave reviews, I don't think I would go and buy it because it's too cash grabby for me. And I bet you, going back to Travis Barker, if he had nothing to do <laughs> with the Kardashians, there's no fucking way he would have ever put this shit out. I don't think so, Tim. Get the fuck out of here. So, and which at the end also makes me wonder about fucking Brad Pitt if he wasn't in the fucking 
freaking lawsuit. Uh, it's just timing. It's honestly, it's just the timing of it all. But in any case, we're gonna call this, um, what are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this new celebrity brands. We're gonna be nice. We're gonna call new celebrity brands because this that's what they are. And um, yeah, I'm curious to see where they're gonna go with it, but it's a no for me dog. Next. Okay, so the next one we have is something that I don't understand what it is and it freaks me out when I think about it. <laughs> and that is from Hip Dot. Okay, so Hip Dot has come out with the Care Bear Icon Collection. Okay, it's a pigmented creamy baked powder that includes shimmer and metallic finishes. They're $16 a piece. You have Cheer Bear, which is bubblegum pink metallic shimmer. Grumpy Bear, electric moody blue metallic shimmer. Funshine Bear, a sunny gold yellow metallic shimmer. And Cheer Bear, a joyful deep purple metallic shimmer. Apparently for you to get product off, you have to rub the bear. You have to rub it off. I've never felt so gross. I feel like I need to take a shower now, okay? I'm gonna repeat that because the bear's repeating. You have to rub the bear. You rub it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of shit lately, right? A lot of really weird shit. I've never seen something like this where you have to rub a bear to get, to get product off of it. It creeps me the fuck out. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. In ways, it's really cute. Like I like the idea of it because I think that's like really kind of adorable looking, right? But then, and then on the other hand, I think how fucked up and <laughs> fucked up and horrifying it is because that's a no. That's a fucking no for me. That is so fucking weird and creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> Hold on, I need to see, is there like a video? Oh my God, I need to see a video now. We all need to experience this together. This would be a fun product to get like, you know, for science purposes. It would be if I wasn't so horrified. <laughs> Cause bitch is horrified. God, you're so cute. How to use. We suggest using your favorite eye primer base prior to application. We love an intense look. Apply directly to the side areas using a brush or your fingertips. For best results, use a fluffy brush to blend and buff as needed to create your desired finish. For more intense bold look, we recommend using a shade or flat brush. So I guess either you can rub him with your finger or use a brush, which is kind of stupid because it's so much work. It's so much fucking work to just fucking make an eye look. Like just gonna, it's so stupid. I hate I hate it. I hate it. I get me off this planet. Okay. Get me off this planet. Last week, I was literally cupping their balls. Hip dog. <laughs> I was literally cupping their balls going, oh man, you're a fucking highlighter, bro. I really wish I could buy it, but I'm not buying a bundle. Fuck you. I want it because it's cool. This week, you made me go back to side eyeing and giving you the stink eye because I just don't like this. It's so creepy and weird. <laughs> Don't want to have to use a brush to do this and that, that's so stupid. It's not practical Like get the fuck out of here and especially for like that kind of money You can go to profusion and get a whole palette for five dollars and have a much better experience Right I'm trying to think of like other likewise price price points. You can go to Wet n Wild, you can get a whole fucking palette and you don't have to like literally just fucking do this. Also, there's gonna be a lot of fallout. Wouldn't there be a lot of fallout? And what if it breaks? There are a lot of things or a lot of variables that can happen. I don't like it. <laughs> It's freaking me the fuck out. I think it's gross. It's sickening, but it's also really cute at the same time So it's like yes, you're cute, but you're also scaring the shit out of me I don't have that on my bingo card. So I'm just gonna call that. I'd rather not I'd rather not spend $16 to rub your belly <laughs> to Put it on my face When I tell you I am really kind of excited about this. I am because I think it's so fucking cute. So there's a brand called Dark and Glam Beauty, which they are a new brand to me. Oh, inspired by the 80s, 90s horror, sci-fi, and glam. Okay, I'm following you, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, here's the dealio. Oh, they had a creep show palette. Oh, fuck. I didn't see this. I like the cover. The color story is okay, but I like the cover though. Mm. Okay, all right. So this brand is coming out with a Goosebumps collection and it's the fucking Haunted Mask episode, which is one of my favorite episodes, by the way. It's so goddamn good. Anyway, so the Haunted, oh, uh, fuck, what is that? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna pick this up. Shit. All right. Ah, I just saw what it was. Okay. So the Dark and Glam Beauty is releasing their second, their second Goosebumps palette. 
What? Hold please. What? Wait a second. What do you mean second Goosebumps palette? Excuse me? Oh, they have the hot, what? Oh, this brand's adorable. Oh, say cheese and die. Oh, that's cute. Eh, it's cute. <laughs> I like the cover, the inside is like a lot of red. Me. I really like this one and I'm so goddamn sad because there are four mattes, there are two glitters and there are three chrome glitters. So if they're glitters, like I I want to see swatches because if it's a pressed glitter, then I have no interest in it. But if it's um like a different kind of glitter that's not a pressed glitter, I, I would be open to it. I think this looks really cute. I love the artwork. Artwork I think is really fucking adorable. And I like the color story. This is actually one color story that I'm like, ooh, yes, like this is fucking awesome. The few palettes that I just seen. But I just don't like that it's, if it's gonna be a pressed glitter, not really into that. But I think this is pretty fucking adorable though. And I kind of want to put it on my motherfucking face. Here's the deal. If it's what I think it is, I'm gonna definitely put it on my motherfucking face. But if it's not, then we're gonna have to politely go our own ways. I hate pressed glitters with a passion. But this is really fucking cute though. And I really like that there's a brand out there that's actually inspired by the 80s and 90s horror and sci-fi. Like, I think that's really cool. So as I was mentioning about like Fantasy Cosmetica, for example, or Game Beauty, that really go more towards like the video game world. It's nice to see a horror one. Like, that's really cool. So I'm on the lookout for more stuff in the future. Actually, wait, let me go to their website. All right, there's no swatches or anything on the website. So I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for that. So I'm gonna call this, put it on my face, because I kind of want them to put it on my face. Unless it's a press glitter, then it's a no. Anyway, next. All right, so the next product we're gonna talk about is from Lethal Cosmetics. Oh, how lovely. Um, I love Lethal Cosmetics. Y'all know I scream about them from the rooftops whenever I get a chance to. And I'm so excited. They're gonna be revealing something on 928. You know, it's unfortunate because I, there's not really much from this imagery that kind of suggests anything. So they're really giving us nothing here. So, so without kind of droning on for about a few minutes about it, I guess we'll call this, yes, give us nothing because you're giving us nothing with this post. Um, but on an unrelated note, I actually have a really cool video coming out on the 28th that I might, may or may not be premiering. So... <laughs> I don't know, um, but it's totally unrelated, unrelated to this for sure. So I'm gonna call this, yes, give us nothing because clearly you gave us nothing <laughs> in this post. But I am excited to see what's gonna come out though. It's probably gonna be really fucking cool. this week there's a lot of stuff i think this was like a very whirlwind episode okay there was a lot of highs there were some lows there was a some what the fucks there was a lot of things going on and i'm intrigued i'm titillated <laughs> i'm going through the gamut of everything and uh, i just can't believe that i bought some stuff from smashbox and i lost my shit when i couldn't buy anything from makeup revolution the tides are turning okay <laughs> something is happening in my brain. Maybe it's because I'm getting older and my just, uh, my body's settling like a house. I don't, it's just, it's just all kinds of fucked up. Anyway, um, with that said, definitely go check out Emily and Audrey's videos and tell them I said hi. And of course, let me know down below if there are any products that you're excited about or if there's anything that you want to see me review, let me know because I'll be more than happy to do so. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification about all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, and to all my Patreon babies or patrons, Patreon, patron, patron babies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really filthy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty garbage about afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I can't wait to gobble you all up and live inside my belly so we can be one and it'll be a great old time. But with that said, I'll see you, little pumpkins, on Wednesday. Bye.